Hey guys, Jeremiah with Steps Pressure Washing and More. We are going to be heading out to Clayton today. We're going to be doing a gutter clean and house wash. And we're getting a very late start today. It is about 12 o'clock noon. Uh, my first job of the day ended up having to reschedule. They were getting French drains installed over the weekend and the contractor was not able to finish the job. So their driveway is completely blocked by gravel and dirt piles and they've got trenches dug throughout their yard and they called me yesterday afternoon and basically said, hey, um, we're trying to figure this out. Can you work with us? And, you know, of course I'm going to, you know, it's not uncommon for life to happen. So uh, luckily I was able to use that for communication with clients. I generally save that for Friday afternoon. Got it done a little, or I'm sorry, Friday morning. Uh, I got it done a little bit earlier this week, so that is nice. I'm doing a lot of admin catch-up, so maybe I can just rest a little bit on Friday. We'll see, but um, we're going to go out there. We're going to clean this house up. This is a house wash and gutter clean we got off of word of mouth advertising, and that is, you know, of course, your most effective form of advertising. Um, this is just a client we've worked for in the past, gave our name and number out to somebody, and they said, yeah, we checked out your website. The price you gave us on the quote is what matches what's on the website. So they were ready to go and I'm going to go clean them up. It's uh, We're getting shorter days. Time's already changed. So I'm trying to maneuver everything to where I'm not overloading a day and getting stuck in the dark while on the job. I've done that just about every year I've been in business. I'm really trying to learn from those mistakes. But, uh, you know, sometimes things come up and... Uh, Sometimes things take a little longer, but I'm trying to express my expectation for certain jobs. Um, I think today my wording was, we're going to start on this day, and if we are not able to finish, we will come out on the morning following to finish it up, just to make sure that I'm setting the expectation of, we will run out of daylight if we don't get on it. So, But anyway... That's all I got. You guys, uh, let's go wash something. All right. So we have some surprise gutter guards here today. Looks like we're missing a little bit of the brackets here to hold these together. That's okay because I can get in here and take a look around. And everything looks really good. It's a little dirty on the outside, but they seem to be pretty good and not clogged. So. We're going to be skipping gutter cleaning today. I'm going to go check the back and uh, see what we got going on back there. All right, and these back here on the back are looking super dirty. But looking inside, I'm not seeing anything that would be cause for concern on clogs. I'm going to go take a look down at the downspout, but I think this is just a little bit of stuff stuck to the front and we are good ladder set up right over here there's no gate on this side so i will be standing on that just to get that corner down there behind the fence pretty standard run of the mill uh this is painted wood with pine trees kind of all around it so lots of shade really no sunny side of the home so it's constantly growing algae i uh, will be taping up the door locks and covering up that camera. I got an open box right here. All right. Yeah, overall not terrible. Um, the gutters definitely need a little love, but uh, a little bit of paint missing here in the corner. A little bit of uh, not great looking mold up under that eave. Uh, but yeah, definitely a lot of just dirt needs to get washed off of the gutters. I'm going to be doing these porch railings. I include porch railings on most of my house washes. So uh, just a little little bit of house wash mix and these things brighten right up. A little bit of wood missing down here. And uh, yeah, ready to rock and roll. Getting started here on the back end. It's a pretty small house, so it's going to make for a pretty fast day. 
uh, not doing gutter cleaning, so uh, I believe this is about a 1,200 square foot home. I should be out of here within an hour. Um, it is also very shaded, so I'm going to do two sides at a time. And we're just ready to make it happen and pack up. Alright, just flying through this one today. Again, pretty small house. And again, this was a word of mouth referral from one of our other clients. Uh, super super nice guy talked to him today and um, hoping to come out here maybe once a year every year and a half as they need it um, sure with the canopy of trees right over their home it's gonna get a little bit greener a little faster and uh, just I'd love to keep this client as a repeat a good client so you know using my common sense professionalism as we all should be doing every day one percent house wash mix takes care of just about everything I did a um, did their back porch railings nice bright white when I was done with them so I'm really excited and I can't wait for them to come out and look at that uh, again I include that in most of my Wash this for free because it is just such a simple process of applying the house wash mix, letting it sit and rinse it off. It's nothing crazy. And uh, little stuff like that adds value for your client. It lets them know you're not just here to nickel and dime them. You can upcharge it, sure. And I have if it was an excessive amount of porch railings, but you know, your average 12 by 12 porch. Maybe you got a little ramp on it. Makes the customer happy. Makes them want to go hang outside their house after you leave. It adds value. That's all we can do, right? Just try and add value. All right, there she is. Nice and bright and clean. Pretty as can be. Got my mix made up for the next house. That's what I generally do. At the end of each one, I go ahead and refill my tank while I drain the water tank. And you can see the gutter line came out phenomenally. Just needed a good wash. Same thing with the porch rails. All right, so that's gonna be it for us today. Uh, it was really just a one and done. This was a referral. Uh, and it was a little disappointing, you know, we had to reschedule the first job, so, uh, we already were looking at kind of a slower day than what I was hoping for, and then when we got out there and realized there was no gutters to be cleaned because they had gutter guards, uh, we definitely took a hit on that one as well, but, you know, that's the nature of the beast, and, uh, we left, they were super happy, they were super impressed, uh, asked for a couple business cards so that they could give our name out. So um, definitely seems like, you know, that was a referral client. So if they're willing to refer us, maybe we can make this into a chain of some sort where we just keep building. I've got many other clients that have done some similar stuff where, you know, one referred me, so then the next one referred me, so then the next one referred me. So, um if that's what we're going for, I'm more than happy taking a, a, a hit on one day uh, just to make sure that we keep the clients happy, which they were super happy when we left. Uh, they weren't expecting all those rails to be cleaned, but that's part of our process. That's part of what's included in our price. Um, that's why we're a little bit more expensive than some of our competitors is because we just we do include a lot of stuff in what we do. All right, well, early day means a little bit of time for me. You guys be safe out there.